kleine Racker, ganz in weiß, Rumschefrot und Kuschelweich. Alle haben den Knut so lieb, schön, dass es dich gibt. Hello, my name is Justin Brewster, here with Save the Environment. Did you like seeing all the animals? What if I told you they were in danger? What if I told you there was a very important animal in danger? What could this animal be? That's right, you guessed it, the human being. Here at Save the Environment, we're dedicated to the health of mankind and the world that surrounds us. But what exactly do we do? Well, we aim to reduce agricultural pollution. Harmful pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers are consistently applied to our crops. I sat down with a few Clemson students to ask them what they know about these substances. What do you know about pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers? Well, fertilizers make plants grow, and uh, go to keep bugs from eating them. What do you guys know about pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers? Harmful to animals. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much it. Harm animals, and then we can get the food supply. Well, their definitions are partially right. A pesticide is any substance or mixture of substances intended for preventing, destroying, repelling, or mitigating any pest. An herbicide is a substance used to kill unwanted plants. Fertilizers are soil amendments applied to promote plant growth. The main nutrients present in fertilizer are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. How can these substances adversely affect human health and the environment? In 2001, over 200 million kilograms of herbicides were used in the United States, and over 40 million kilograms were composed of the compound glyphosate. Glyphosate can potentially damage the reproductive system. It has been known to cause low fertility, low sperm count, and prostate or testicular cancer. When fertilizers are added to soil, nitrogen can be left over as precipitate. This nitrogen may enter the water cycle and create acid rain. Acid rain can potentially kill many organisms. It also can damage buildings and other structures. If nitrogen enters the water cycle, it also has the potential to contaminate our drinking water. It has been known to adversely affect the human body in many ways, including decreasing the blood's ability to carry oxygen, causing a shortage of vitamin A, and decreasing the function of the thyroid gland. I also asked the Clemson students about the harmful effects of these products. What if I told you that glyphosate-based fertilizers had the potential to cause infertility, low sperm count, and prostate cancer or testicular cancer? That, that would be unfortunate. What if I told you guys that glyphosate-based fertilizers can cause infertility, low sperm count, and prostate or testicular cancer? Yeah, that, I, I don't want a low sperm count. But what are some possible solutions? I also asked the Clemson students if they had any ideas. How do you think we could teach farmers more about pesticides and herbicides? They, they just need access to information about them. How do you guys think we could further educate farmers about pesticide and herbicide application? Set up an incentivized program in which farmers take classes at some community college or university or school in which to get uh, paid to attend classes and learn about pesticides and using their problems associated with them. Or put obvious notices on the products that they use that warn against the possible dangers of using pesticides and All good suggestions. If farmers are educated on the application of these products, it may reduce the environmental impact. We plan to create an incentivized program in which farmers learn about pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. The program will help farmers by enhancing their decision-making skills, reducing their investments, and increasing their profits. Farmers will be educated on how and when to apply the appropriate amount of pesticides and herbicides. Farmers will also be taught about the nutrient content of their soil. By testing their soil, they will be able to ensure that the proper amount of fertilizer has been applied. Teaching farmers about fertilizer storage will also prevent hazards for both humans and the environment. With these solutions, we will be able to ensure a clean, safe environment for both animals and humans.